example of how to manage text media objects from within orchestrations in JDAdmit. We're going to use direct AIS calls from orchestrations. And in this scenario, we are going to update item master text media objects. AIS calls can be called directly from orchestrations and they're perfectly documented on the Oracle website. So let's get started. First, we're going to the Oracle documentation of the AIS server. And it says do slash v2 slash file slash add text. So let's first create the three connectors. Um, first, how to add text. So the first connector we are going to call um, connector add text for media objects. Uh, it is a post, all documented. And here is the pathing that we just found here, the v2 slash add text. So go to the AIS server slash JDE rest slash v2 slash file slash add text. The headers, of course, need to be content type uh, JSON. Uh, the body is perfectly documented here as well as an example uh, body all on the bottom. Um, this is an example request. How to add text. Of course, we're not going to use curl and we don't need a token because our orchestration already has a token. So let's put in a body and change all the uh, values to parameters with the dollar sign and the curly braces. And that's it. So this is how to add the text. Now, the next one uh, we're going to get, uh, create uh, is another uh, REST AIS call, is how to get text. So we're going to call it media object get text. It's another local AIS call. We're going to do a post. Um, and look up the documentation, get text slash v2 slash file slash get text. And we're going to put that in the path again. Uh, again, the header, of course, uh, set it to content type JSON. And for the body, exactly the same story. Just go to the examples. It's, it's really perfectly documented. Um, Example, get all text, get single sequence. And uh, here we're going to only, in this example, we're only going to use text media object number one. Of course, you could make a list of all the text media objects, but here we're going, going to, going, only going to use a single one. And again, put in the body, um, change all the fixed values to variables. And the last one we're going to create is another connector, um, update text. Another AIS call and uh, another post. And for the pathing, we're going to do the same. Let's look up the documentation. Slash v2 slash file slash update text. And again, for the body, same story. Of course, don't forget the headers, set it to uh, application type JSON. And uh, for the body, again, pick the example. Um, and run the, ch change all the fixed values again to uh, parameters. I can't type this fast, so of course I'm, I'm copy and pasting from my uh, notepad. Next is to create an orchestration. First, we're going to create an orchestration to uh, add text, which is now actually very, very simple. Um, so create orchestration, create media object text, and we're going to have two input values one is the item number, and the second one is the text that we are going to put on the first media object text.
so now we're going to create or add the, the connector that we just created for add text. And that's basically it. Then it already works. So let's map the values. Um, the media object structure for P4101 is uh, GT4101. Um, if you're looking to see exact values, create a media object uh, on the specific item that you want and look up the F00165 and that shows you an example of what needs to be created, what the media object structure looks like. So, of course, the application is P4101. Uh, the item name we say uploaded and the item, the input text is, of course, the text variable um, that we uh, are putting in. So let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look at the media object, uh, at the item. And uh, there's no media objects here. So let's run it from our orchestration. Item number 60020. Oops. I'm still on my clipboard. And put in some text. My text. Run it, and it says success. We will find, and now open up our media object. And here it says my text. It is that easy. Just have to figure a way around. Initially, I thought it would be very complex, but once trying it out, actually implemented already at some customers, um, it seemed to be very simple. All right, let's create our Second orchestration we call media object item text. And uh, what we're going to do here is of course the same input values, um, the item number and text. And what we're going to do, we're going to do uh, get media object text. And if that fails, add it. Uh, and if it's successful, uh, update the media object text. Of course, it could be implemented a lot smarter, but this is just a very simple way of explaining the concept of media object text. So the media object structure again for getting the text is the GT4101. The key is the item number. Uh, the sequence we're going to only one, so we're going to hard code it. Application form we're going to hard code again. Um, and the version. And what we're going to do right now is say on error, uh, run the orchestration, uh, add media object. With, uh, of course, our input values. I'm aware this might give some errors in your orchestration monitoring. Um, so actually, it would, would actually be better to get a complete list of media objects, see which ones are there, and but th th that would be too complex for a simple example like this. Um, so if it doesn't go in error, we're going to update it. Of course, uh, we put these values in the body, and it, it, it automatically cr creates them as, as variables for the, for the connector. Version item name uploaded and um, the text is the text again let's save it and that's it so from here on um, let's test it is the item number again the same item my text updated run it Yes, it found it, and let's, let's double check on the, actually, uh, on the actual text, my text updated, perfect. So managing media object text is really very simple. Um, I think this video takes about uh, 10 minutes. Within 10 minutes, you can uh, manage all that. So let's delete it quickly. Um, and see if it also adds it if, it, if it's not there run the same thing again and as you see no text returned uh, it went in error and then it ran the add text and now it should be back yes our media object is back 
perfect, my text updated again. So managing media objects from orchestrations is, is fairly simple. Uh, and doing direct AIS calls from orchestrations uh, gives you a lot more opportunities, of course. Uh, all those AIS calls are perfectly documented on the Oracle website. So here by the example of how to manage media object text in a very simple way. Mm -hmm.